Okay, so today I'm going to be uh, uploading the hailstorm to the uh, StarMadeMultiverse.com. I saw it was a big cool place to go, so uh, that's what I've decided to do. Um, also, just to give you a little bit of an update, some edit, and I've been speaking with the creator a little bit, so we can put a, get together a few videos showing how to use it. Um, you, what you're looking at here is unfinished work in progress, but you can pretty much see what I've done. Um, we've ripped the model from the game Hawken, and this is a Moak, which is the Skype class mech. And then we've imported the OBJ. I think I'm going to do this again because I've learned a better method of doing this. I just literally imported the OBJ, nothing else, straight into SMEDIT, and then saved it as a chip. Um, imported the ship here, and as you can see, it's sort of kept the rough outline, so you could then go inside and customize it. Now, like I say, I've since learned better ways of doing this, so I'm actually going to scrap this particular uh, work in progress. But that doesn't mean I'm finished with it. I'm going to be coming back to it. Um, and also, we're going to be going over all the features that uh, SM Edit has to offer. The most interesting of which is simply moving your core. So, you want to move the core, that's no problem with this program. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to be importing a few things uh, which I've <laughs> which I've recently been working on with SMEDIT and we're just going to see how they come out and uh, yeah that's the purpose of this video so let's get into it. So item number one on the list is the Death Star for a low low price of 132 million. I did want to make it bigger but it kept crashing so let's see if it loads. Wait wait I'm not seeing oh there it is. We've got half of a Death Star. It kind of loaded half of it. Oh, wait. Yeah, see, this is what happens when you just load the OBJ. See, I wasn't using the bin box. Doesn't, ah, look, there's the dish. And there's a line around it and everything. So, it did work, but it's kind of... The spherical part has been made cylindrical on the top edges so it's so the inside it, it's a it's perfect on the inside so yeah back to the drawing board with that one next up on the list is dynamies and I think this one was done with binvox now I've actually edited the model um, using a 3d editor obviously and I've used I actually used Google SketchUp believe it or not, to uh, change my SketchUps into OBJs and then we used Binvox to clean them up and then we imported the Binvox into uh, StarMade and, oh sorry, into SMEdit <laughs> and then we used SMEdit to save this as a ship and as you can see this is probably the best one I've got so far this is pretty damn good so all I have to do with this, of course, and that was the plan, is whack a turret here. <laughs> a big turret. A really big turret, please. And then the idea is we'll sit him on the station and he can snipe for us. <laughs> um, Dynamese, of course, being the uh, sniper Gundam from the series 00. Now, as you can see, that is just beautiful. I'm sorry, but... I couldn't have done it without all those tools in that order and it, you know it's time consuming but once you've cracked it you can really get a good model going um, this one isn't hollow so uh, I figured out the command lines for that later but uh, yeah so uh, let's get on to the next one okay so here we are with the next thing now this I've va I painted it roughly, okay, so it's not supposed to look perfect right now. <laughs> um, basically, uh, I used SM Edit to do the paint, so uh, just to save a little bit of time, less detail work. Uh, this is the Kusanagi, it's a Gundam uh, carrier ship from the Gundam series. Seems like I've lost a bit off the nose there, but it was colliding with Dynamese, and I think I might have caused a bit of a problem when I spawned this in, so... Um, yeah, I mean, it came through nice and clean, and like I say, a little bit of detail work on here, probably about an hour worth of detail work, and um, you'll be laughing with this particular build. I'm just going to see if it's actually what the, what the, what the detail, what it's like inside here. And it's hollow. So yeah, I used a simple command, and the entire model's hollow, which is perfect, because, you know, don't need to waste any time hollowing the model out. So you've got a perfect 
conversion of the model because I've got the original in it <laughs> to be honest make it blocky and yeah that's pretty much it um, if, if you've ever seen the series if you could sort of imagine <laughs> the colors being a little bit better but you, you know that's that's roughly it right there so I'm gonna move on to the next model I've done I'm obviously gonna do all of these I'm not just running through them I just had to show you this and I will be doing tutorials on how the process so that everyone can see how this is done I mean you, you there's still advantages to building everything hat by hand you can't do everything in the editor and I don't really think that would be the best direction because the, 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 the actual tools that these this editors giving you is saving you a lot of time in on different actions um, so but we'll explore that so let's move on to the next model and uh, carry on Um, obviously, I've been making a lot of models recently in my Gundam lab, uh, or my mech lab at the Mushroom HQ, and so checking out a few Gundam models was a good idea, but uh, as you can see, this is what happens when you don't use bin locks. Sometimes when you convert the OBJ, you get these sort of artifacts coming off one axis that can go back for up to a thousand blocks. I found the quickest way to clean these off was to actually shoot the ship core, which gives you like 500 seconds, to then use your favorite salvager ship and shave all this lot off much quicker than actually going in and removing it. But anyway, if we're just gonna have a look and see this, <laughs> that is the model. Now you can't see it because it's so badly uh, distorted, but uh, I'm gonna load up another version which I ran through Binvox and uh, you'll be able to see the difference. And it only takes a few seconds to run the Binvox and then you can import the Binvox file rather than the uh, OBJ, as I say. So uh, anyway, I'm going to get rid of this and we're going to see what that strange pattern there is. Yeah, um, the colours are a little bit off, but uh, I've had a bit, a little bit of difficulty painting. I mean, I just wanted to get a rough, a rough job done, but uh, I actually didn't do too badly. I used uh, white all and then the gun was mostly black so I painted that black and then the chest was mostly blue with a little bit of red so I did that um, obviously this is in a pose so it's not supposed to be symmetrical if you look at the front of it you'll see it's slightly off and that's because he's, he's sort of twisted at the torso there and he's shooting like that out of the gun that way so I wanted to see what would happen if you did something diagonal and um, it actually came out really well I'm quite happy this is not going to take long to finish to make this look real nice um, and uh, I could even add a gun uh, like a functioning gun in here to shoot <laughs> to shoot um, which is pretty pretty sweet um, but yeah uh, I think I have got a lot of work to do like I say I tried to paint it but uh, I think I missed in a few pieces so I just tried to do the best I could and I figured I'd do the most you know I do the fine detail in game um, so I'm just gonna see if this thing's hollow I can't remember if I ran a hollow command on it but this was the same exact model I haven't had to go into the 3d editor uh oh pause right I haven't had to go into the editor yep it's hollow whole thing oh my goodness so, I mean, you know, <laughs> the usable space here is just ridiculous. Um, Maybe not entirely hollow. It, it's it, just... it is. It is enti It is completely hollow. It's like... Are you sure about that? Have, yeah, you, have you tried... Uh... It's made it... It's made it... It's, it's one block thick in most places. I, I guess there is probably a few wireframes sticking through here and there. And uh, the corner joints might have a block thing in there that's not ne that's not really needed. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You'd have to go around it, but you know, there's detail to be done. There is a lot of detail that needs to be done. But the thing is, you could argue that when you zoom out, when you pat, when you go really far back, that all those little lines that are wrong actually make it look right. <laughs> it's actually crazy that the detail I mean I, I'm really apologizing for the rough paint job it looks like uh, some kids model and he's just got a really fat pen and just done it like <laughs> but uh, the amount of job the amount of time I mean imagine if I'd had to go and change every single block for white or the amount of time it would take to get the leg position for this just for this imagine if I'd done this by eye if I'd had to like 
just just to just to work it out and and figure out all life just just take it it would take years <laughs> um but yeah i'm quite impressed with that because uh i was unsure as to how well it was going to work and to be honest pretty well and with a little bit of you know a little bit of tweaks here and there it could work even better so um i'm going to see if i've got any more models to show you um and i've got another ship to show you I'm going to be doing some finer detail on this one for sure. Um, it was a, a request, actually, this one by uh, Input Sinewave, the guy that does the music for my channel. Right. So, here we go. Um, this is the Sulaco. Like I say, it was requested by uh, the guy that's doing my music, Input Sinewave. Um, the music which is currently in use is a bit rough, but uh, I requested it before he was finished with it. So, um, But like I say, it's from the movie Alien, if you're not familiar. The, uh, the Sulaco is a military ship, I think. I can't remember. I'm probably going to get shot now by my by my friend input for this. <laughs> I should really know more. But of course I've seen the movies. Come on. Um, this is actually a little turret, <laughs> which came out surprisingly well. Um, and um, like I say, it's a little bit small. I would have liked to make it bigger, but we're still working on that um, at the moment. There is a bit of a size limit in the conversion process at the moment. So, um, no monsters just yet. But yeah, like I say, this is this was the Sulaco. Um, it needs to have a lot of detail done, but the actual shape is pretty good. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing a bit of work on this particular ship in future. I'm going to be keeping all these blueprints and coming back to them. Um, like I say, I had a great night just sort of playing around with SM Edit, messing around with the import object and messing around with Binbox. But I got a couple more to show you, so uh, I won't hang on this for too long. So let's get the next one up. So I've always wanted to beef up the pirates, and uh, it looks like I got my wish using the scale command with SM Edit. Now, as you can see here, uh, this is our favourite ship, the first ship that most people fight in the game, the uh, Lowly Isanth. Now, as you can see, it has just literally been scaled up. I'm going to be making this into a pirate mothership, if if you will. Um, I hope to release a ship where I will dock a bunch of Isanths inside. So obviously as soon as you kill this big one, the little ones are let loose. Uh, so it becomes a sort of multi-stage challenge when these guys turn up. And obviously this is a bit more of a chunky challenge for guys in bigger ships. So if you've got a really big ship with a really big gun, now you've got a really big Isanth to shoot at. So I thought that was a pretty cool little thing to do. Real simple, you could do this with any ship. Um, I did use a round number because I wanted to retain this sort of, uh, this block. <laughs> I think it's literally 10 times the size of a normal Isanth in every direction. Um, I'm just gonna have a quick look inside so you can have a little peek. Uh, okay. So yeah, that's the Super Isanth, <laughs> and it was really easy to make, like I say, so, you know, I'm not thinking any like, oh, look how amazing this ship is, yeah, it is literally the standard ship out of the catalogue, and I've scaled it up using SM Edit, um, but yeah, it's quite nice when you damage it, because it's got real big chunks of armour, <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the next one. Now, some people might not recognize this ship, but this is Sark's ship from the first Tron movie. So it's designed, you know, it's supposed to look like an 80s video game <laughs> object. It does need a little bit of cleaning up, so uh, there are some surfaces which shouldn't be there. But uh, the basic shape is there, and like I say, if you were just prototyping, you could take something like this, and you could use symmetry, for example, in SM Edit, double it out. Uh, and, and then make it into a ship from there. Uh, it's, it's really simple, um, but hopefully I should be able to show you how to do that soon. Um, like I say, it's a quite a simple little ship really. I mean, um, it's a long time since I saw this film. I was actually looking for the sail ship from Tron, but I couldn't find any, uh, any images or models or anything about that, so bit of a shame because this one was a bit weird big chunky thing that was chasing them basically this thing was so uh, yeah Sark's ship and I think I have one more left to show you so let's get on to that one 
this is the last chip I saved it till last um, this was actually the first model that I chose to do and I'm definitely going to be making this into a ship I always wanted to make this uh, this is the uh, I, whoa it's just went, just got a mind warp it's the something too <laughs> okay so this is a ship from the series Cowboy Bebop it's piloted by the main character Spike it's called the Swordfish 2 um, it was originally I think it's a racing ship actually um, but it's, he's a bounty hunter so anyway those little black things on the front those are wheels um, we thought that the gun was actually a glitch because it came out to about here <laughs> but that then it's not that's that's what it's supposed to look like so we got rid of that by accident but it's cool because I need to rebuild it anyway using AMC's of course so uh, that's basically what this is about it's gonna be a little fighter I think it's a real cool design the uh, ship should be in here this will be glass uh, the, sorry the cockpit will be in here um, but at the moment the uh, core is right inside it so I'll be using this ship to demonstrate how to move the core in a future video so um, anyway oh, I wish I could just get in this thing and fly it off <laughs> it's, it's just it just it's just awesome <laughs> it looks really good in the game because when you look at it in the editor there's no lighting and I, I some, I've got to admit I mean if anyone's been using it um, comment away if you have this too sometimes when you're rotating it it sort of looks like it's inverted you get an optical illusion where you think that you're looking at the front but actually it's the back and then as you're turning it you have to sort of turn it around and zoom in and out and your eyes adjust because <laughs> a real problem I suddenly I'd be like wait that's the wrong side <laughs> and it's not like anyone's fault it's just that's what it looks like the detail on here at the moment I did all this in paint in uh, SM Edit, so um, I put the little grey bit on there to show that's where the gun goes. I made the wheels black because yeah, they're like landing gear, and uh, then I put white where I was going to put the glass, and then I did this little bit, the two lights. These are lights, so I used grey and white hull, um, and yeah, then I just marked out the area where obviously the engine's going to go in there. Um, you know, like I say, I'm going to move the core. Um, at the moment it's somewhere in the nose um, I probably will end up like starting again because I think what I want to do because I, I did this first I don't think this is hollow no I don't think that, no it's not hollow so basically I'll, I'll probably reconvert the model again <laughs> uh, this time do it hollow <laughs> might make it a little bit bigger as well I think this is a good size for it though because it's supposed to be a single seat fighter and at the moment the cockpit is about 10 by 10 <laughs> which is which is huge for a single seat <laughs> but uh, yeah it's a nice looking ship I really like this that's, the, that's like I say that's the first model I look for because I wanted to make it but I knew I wouldn't get it right I knew it would be wrong I'd be there for hours just going nah it's still not right uh, so this is a good place to get started and then you can sort of finish it off which is great so yeah, I think that's all the models. I'm just going to double check and uh, I'll get back. Get back. <laughs> 